raging foam, he's wooed a wife and he's brought her home. He's wooed her for her long golden hair. His mother's burdened her with a weary care, and a weary spell she's laid on her to be with child for long, and many's the year, but the child she'll never bear. And in her bower she lies in pain. King Willie at her bed had she he the stands down his cheeks, salt and tears do run. King Willie back to his mother, he has gone, and he has gone as a begging son. Says me true love has this fine noble steed, the likes of which you ne'er did see. From every part of this horse's mane, there's hanging fifty silver bells and ten, there's hanging fifty bells and ten. This goodly gift will be your own, if back to me own true love you'll turn again, that she might bear the baby son. Oh, the child will never lie to me, nor from sickness will e'er be free. But she will die, and she will turn to clay, and you will wed with another maid. And son says this weary man, as back to his own true love, he's turned again, I wish my life was at an end. King Willie back to his mother, he has gone, and he has gone as a begging son. Says me true love has this fine golden girdle decked with jewels all around the middle. From every part of the skirtle ten, there's hanging fifty silver bells and ten, there's hanging fifty bells and ten. This goodly gift shall be your own, if back to me own true love she turn again, that she might bear the baby son. Oh, the child will never lie to me, nor from sickness will e'er be free, but she will die, and she will turn to clay, and you will wed with another maid. And sighing says this weary man, has back to his own true love, he's turned again, I wish my life was bad and bad. But up and spoke his noble queen, and she has told King Willie of plan, how she might bear the baby son. Says so you must get you down to the marketplace, and you must buy you a loaf of wax, and you must shape it as babe that is to nurse, and you must make it two eyes of glass. Then ask your mother to the christening day, and you must stand there close as you can be, that you might hear what she does say. King Willie, he is gone down to the marketplace, and he has bought him a loaf of wax, and he has shaped it as a babe that is to nurse, and he has made it two eyes of glass. He's asked his mother to the christening day, and he has stood there close as he could be, that he might hear what she does say. And how she's cursed, and how she swore, she spied a babe where no babe could be before, she spied a babe where none had been before. Says who was it, who undid the nine which knots, braided in amongst this lady's locks? And who was it, who unleashed the combs of hair, braided in amongst this lady's hair? And who was it, slew the master kid, that ran and slept, all beneath this lady's bed, that ran and slept, beneath the bed? And who was it undid her left shoe? And who was it who has let her lighter be that she has borne this baby son? And it was Willie who undid the nine which not sprayed it in amongst this lady's locks. And it was Willie who unleashed the combs of care, braided in amongst his lady's hair. And it was Willie's new master kid. And it was Willie who's unlaced her left foot shoe, and he has let her lighter be. And she has borne them a baby son. Now great are the blessings that are them upon. Now great are the blessings them upon.